Hi, ask about modular mind or uh, something similar about how the mind works. Well, there is uh, a very prominent recent theory that is called the theory of the modular mind. Um, it's a very simple idea, but it's a very powerful idea because it describes how our minds work. And this theory is uh, as follows. Imagine you are standing in a room, in a circular room, and in this room there are boxes. There are boxes uh, all around the circle. Some of them are red, some of them are green. The red boxes constitute modules that trigger negative uh, thinking, and the green boxes are modules that trigger positive thinking. Okay? Right. Now there is an emotion that will trigger which module takes over. So when you are thinking and you get thoughts, so these modules are competing for your attention. And the, uh, the emotion, let's say the emotion of anger, triggers um, a self-preservation module that starts producing thoughts. And uh, that's the theory of the uh, of the uh, modular mind. Uh, it's very powerful because it describes what a meditator sees every day in meditation. When you are meditating, there is thoughts that are competing for your attention. Some of them you will just let go because you are meditating. Some of them you will grab because they are so powerful that they grab your attention. And there is emotions that are associated with these thoughts. Actually, the emotion. Say, let's say the stimulus triggers an emotion. The emotion selects a module and the module starts producing thoughts. And those thoughts compete for your attention. Then when your attention is held by a thought, then they keep breathing more and more thoughts and thinking you're in that line of thinking for a while. And that's the mood you are in at the time. For a meditator, you can see these things in action. Uh, you can see the modular mind in action, and it's uh, it's a brilliant uh, theory that describes the mind uh, pretty accurately.